Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl, Kinesthetic with the Kinesthetics, and I'm here with you guys today with a new vlog. So, this vlog is going to be a maintenance vlog. I just feel like, you know... In order to look good, in order to feel good, in order to be in your bed, you just got to have everything together, okay? That is like step zero. So in this vlog, you guys are going to see me get my nails done, my toes done, my facial, um, and a little wax. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and drop a comment and let's go ahead and get started so today is august is it friday the 13th is it friday the 13th it's friday the 13th of august and i am up and ready because i'm about to go get my nails done so as you guys can see i'm in desperate need of a feeling let me get closer yeah <laughs> it's time to get these done i haven't got my nails done since before i went to the bahamas so I'm going to get my nails done. I think I'm just going to do like another plain color. I'll wait. I think I'm going to do just another plain color because I've just been liking the plain colors. It just seems more mature. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go get a fill in and I'm going to take you guys with me. So, let's go. So I am back home now and my nails are done. I just fixed my hair. But my nails are done. They're super cute. I love them. I did like this lavender color. It's not really coming off on camera. Let me see. Yeah, it's like a nice lavender color. Y'all see, y'all see, y'all see, y'all see, y'all see. I've been feeling to do this color. It just looks so beautiful on dark skin. So beautiful. But I couldn't record too much in the nails. So I was too much going on, girl. And I was just ready to get out of there. Because I had things to do on this beautiful Friday. So, my nails are done. I feel so much better. As you guys know, I do my videos. I do my content. And my nails just need to be done. So, it feels really good to have them done. I haven't got them done in a month, as I told you guys. I did a polish change, a gel polish change maybe like two three weeks ago but once you need a feeling you need a feeling okay ain't not you need a feeling nothing is going to distract the fact that you need a feeling so i feel like a brand new girl okay so that's all i'm doing this week it's friday so next week i have my pedicure on thursday and i have my facial on friday and sometime maybe late next week i'm gonna do my wax myself because if y'all haven't seen my video i'm waxing myself now european wax center who european wax center why period so yeah that's what i'm going to show you guys in this vlog i also want to show you guys things that i do to just maintain myself like mentally and keep myself like in a good space so you guys are going to see that in this video as well because even though maintenance we think of it most of the time as like an external job that we have or an external thing to do or external benefits external appearance it's internal too so eating good drinking good sleeping working out and just doing things that you enjoy and that make you genuinely feel good are also a part of maintenance and should be a part of our maintenance routines as well so you guys are going to see that too in this vlog but that's all i have for now i'm gonna go ahead and do what i have to do for the rest of this friday and i'll see you guys next week hi guys it is thursday august 19th it's been a minute i know i know i know but today i am getting my toes done i just soaked them off and i usually don't show y'all my toes when i don't have polish on it but i just want y'all to see because i haven't seen like my raw toes in forever and i was just like girl your toenails is long and strong okay so let me show y'all brace yourself 
So these are my toes. I just soaked off my gel. They are so long. Oh my god, my toes look disgusting, but it's okay. We're about to get it together real soon so uh yeah so i'm about to get ready now to head to my pedicure appointment and i will be taking you guys with me of course so let's go ahead and get ready i was thinking of doing french on my toes but i'm gonna see how much extra french is because your girl's on a budget okay i'm bowling on a budget so depending on how much french is and if she has like time to do it i'll ask for that but if not I'm going to just do a plain color. I kind of don't want to do funny bunny because I always do funny bunny. But we're going to see. We're going to see. So there was definitely no rain in the forecast. And it's just like. really got these things in a box now i don't know where these things are riding there's barely enough space on the sidewalk honey so i just finished getting my toes done as you guys saw i love them i didn't do funny bunny i did her sister because funny bunny actually ran out the girls finished funny bunny but i'm about to head home now and i have my facial tomorrow so we'll check in tomorrow when i am heading to my facial it is Friday, August 20th, and I just got ready. I'm about to head to Brooklyn to get my facial. So let me show you guys my skin real quick. It's been active. I feel like whenever my extraction appointment is coming up, that's when things want to just start emerging. So I have this breakout here. This little thing here. This thing here. But yeah, today I'm doing extractions. A revitalizing laser facial so you guys will see everything okay um so yeah let me go ahead and head to brooklyn so that we could get this skin all the way together okay okay i'm in brooklyn now i'm about to enter cynthia's shot Ooh, skin <laughs> but yeah i'm about to get my facial so let's go ahead and get it popping hey guys so as i show you guys my facial experience i did want to answer some frequently asked questions that i get here on my youtube channel and on instagram about my acne journey about getting facials x y and z i do want to preface this section by saying that i'm not an esthetician nor am i a licensed beautician a licensed professional so please i encourage you guys do your independent research along with the information I'm about to give you in this segment. So as you guys may or may not know, I do go to Cynthia Aesthetics in Brooklyn, New York to get my facials. She is an African-American esthetician who specializes in skin of color. She's currently not taking any new clients, but make sure you guys follow her on Instagram so that you guys can see when she does start accepting new clients. I do wanna say that. And today, the facial that we did was a revitalizing laser facial with extractions. So I usually alternate between this facial and chemical peels every other month just so that my skin is like getting the treatment it needs. So one month I'm peeling, which means that I'm helping with like my hyperpigmentation and my dark spots. And then the next month I'm getting extractions and this treatment, which helps with new breakouts that tend to emerge from time to time so let's get into these questions so the first thing i, I want to speak about which is the hottest question that i've been getting right now is about hydrofacials have i ever tried a hydrofacial have i ever considered getting a hydrofacial 
the answer is no okay cynthia does not offer hydrogen facial services and if you know me you know i stand by cynthia if you guys have been following me you guys have seen how much progress my skin has made no my skin is not perfect yes it is okay but i do not use or do anything that cynthia does not recommend period i don't care what additional information y'all have if it works for y'all it's fine but me i'm doing what cynthia tells me to do okay i'm absolutely comfortable with that i'm not seeking any advice here i'm just saying that i do not do hydrofacials if y'all want to try it out y'all can try it out but here's why i don't do hydrofacials and here's why cynthia does not offer hydrofacials hydrofacial is basically a system created by a company for estheticians and dermatologists to use on their clients and basically the system is not customized per client it's just like one general system right so with cynthia when i go get my facials she customizes the treatments for me for my skin concerns for what i currently need based on how my skin looks each month when i go see her hydrofacials is just one and done it's like going to a dermatologist if you guys heard my dermatologist experience i told you guys that i did not like it because the same treatment that my dermatologist gave me is the same treatment that i saw so many people on youtube getting and i don't like that i like to know that what i'm getting is customized for my needs for what my skin is going through at the moment so i don't do hydrofacials cynthia doesn't offer hydrofacials that's that on that next the next thing i wanted to speak about was peels do i feel like they really work and i've been doing peels since september 2020 or 19 i don't remember but overall i feel like peels do help but please understand that peels are not one and done you're not gonna get one peel and it's gonna clear your skin out if it does then that peel is too strong for you and you risk burning your skin okay so peels are something that you have to do over a period of time to see change and also you have to take into consideration while me specifically even though i'm doing peels my skin does still tend to break out from time to time based on certain things such as um climate change like when it gets to the summertime my skin tends to produce a lot of oil for some reason so that leads to a lot of breakouts that i've been seeing this summer season if i eat the wrong thing because i'm never gonna lie i've been eating kind of crappy this summer you guys see that i've been outside but when i stay inside and i eat and i meal prep and i make my own food my skin does not break out as much so with getting chemical pills what i'm saying is that even though chemical pills are healing the breakouts the dark spots the hyperpigmentation that you've had for previous breakouts if your skin is still breaking out you have to take that into consideration too so for me even though i got a chemical peel last month i know that i broke out since last month so i'm not expecting the new dark spots that i have to be cured by that chemical peel so a lot of people think that when you get one chemical peel your skin is gonna be nice and clear no honey it don't work like that i'm here to tell you that so yeah that's how i feel about chemical peels they do work people say oh my god i'm so scared to get a chemical peel as long as you go to an esthetician or a professional that knows that what they're doing that has worked with your skin type i feel like you should be fine i would just recommend cynthia because i've been going to her a lot of people i know have went to her if you go to cynthia or if you went to cynthia based on my recommendation comment down below so that people know that she is the truth okay and when she starts accepting new clients again make sure you guys are on it i will try to post when i see her say that she's starting to accept new clients again so that you guys know so make sure you guys follow me on instagram at kinesthetic underscore but cynthia is booked and busy okay so Please do not antagonize her like I need an appointment, I need an appointment because she's not accepting new clients right now. I'm going to say that again, <laughs> but yeah, and a lot of people ask about my home care. So I do videos probably like twice a year, every six months about my morning and nighttime skincare routine. So I will have those links down below, but basically the products that I use at home are once again, only things that Cynthia recommends. So I use her system, which is her skin science of skin of color products and i also use products from pca skin so you guys can check out those videos for specifics on the actual products that i use but i don't use none of these little instagram boutiques or none of that products no shade no tea but i just use what cynthia recommends and that's that on that 
Also, you want to make sure, like people had questions about how should I know what to use at home, what works, what doesn't. Make sure that you know what your skin concerns are and make sure that the products that you're using specifically target what your skin concerns are. So I speak about ingredients in my most recent morning and nighttime skincare routine. So that video should be able to help you guys out a lot if you guys have similar skin concerns to me, which are dark spots, which are breakouts, which is hyperpigmentation. So make sure you guys check out that video because that video can help you out a lot as far as like where you should start when it comes to curating your skincare routines. So so that's how that. The next thing I want to speak about is a laser. So a lot of people say once again, oh my God, I'm scared to do laser on my skin. I'm scared. Like, how do I know where to go to get my laser? And here's my experience with laser. I've been doing lasers since I started going to Cynthia, which was back in June 2019. And... I was tetrified, like terrified. I'm just like, I don't need the laser. And she's like, no, you're going to do this laser. And I'm like, okay, Cynthia. <laughs> so at first, it used to hurt a lot. I'm not even going to lie. But now, like, as you guys are going to see, I can talk to Cynthia while I'm doing my laser because it feels like nothing now. So with laser, you want to make sure that the laser that your professional is using is for skin of color if you are someone who's skin of color so the laser that cynthia uses is arrow laser which i believe is the only or one of the top lasers that is good for skin of color so i would just recommend looking into a professional that provides arrow laser services so the benefits of laser is that it helps to bring up your dark spots bring up your hyperpigmentation it helps to heal breakouts current breakouts future breakouts so as you guys are gonna see later on in this vlog my skin did purge a lot and that is mainly because of the treatment that i got the revitalizing treatment as well as the laser so the laser does a great job bringing up all of that gunk under your skin okay it also does a great job if you have like ice pick scars so i usually get ice pick scars like near my hairline and the laser does a great job helping that so a lot of people consider that breakouts or consider that scars and those are ice pick scars so no product is going to help with that laser is what i do that helps me with those ice pick scars so i did want to clarify that as well is it really a video if the hood is not hooding <laughs> but yeah so laser has a lot of benefits i would recommend to do your research do your research do your research but arrow laser is based for helping me out for the past few years so i would highly recommend arrow laser if you are looking into laser for skin of color so hopefully that answers the frequently asked questions that I get when it comes to skincare. I've been posting my skin journey on YouTube for just about two and a half years now. And at first I was nervous because I'm like, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to solve like my skin issues. But I just took a stab at it and decided to share my journey with you guys. And I couldn't have been happier that I decided to do that. Because a lot of people wait until like the problem is solved to share it with their audiences. But I took a leap of faith and I said I'm going to share with y'all from the beginning so that y'all can see my transformation. And we're not even halfway done yet, honey, okay? So make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can continue to see my skin journey. So you guys can continue to see my skincare content. If that's what you guys gravitated towards my channel for, make sure you guys subscribe. But yeah, I'm really excited to continue to share my journey with you guys. As I always say, it is a journey, so there's really no destination. We're just, we just want to get better. We just want our skin to get better and better. So yeah, that was my facial experience. Really love going to Cynthia. It's really like a treat for me each and every month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little facial part of this vlog, okay? But let's go ahead and get into the rest of my maintenance slash skincare routine or whatever we want to call it that i did this past week hey guys so today is monday ew do not mind my ugly ac in the back <laughs> today is monday august 23rd and it's a new week new start i feel like last week a lot of things like made me feel heavy if that makes sense like um i guess we could say like guilt um just things that i just didn't like things that didn't contribute to positive vibes to positive energy so i'm starting off my morning i told myself i was gonna do this last night so i have this notebook i got this from tj maxx just like a cute little notepad and i told myself that each 
Monday I'm gonna write in this and I'm basically going to list out things that like I feel like needed improvement based on the previous week so I'm gonna start off I'm going to write week uh 823 and I'm basically gonna list out things that I realized that I did last week that I don't want to do this week and just additional things that I want to do this week that I feel like could contribute to me being like in a better space me growing me you know just being my best self so um mm -hmm. this one sticking to my schedule heavy on it taking better care of myself mm. using time to quote get ahead working out consistently hmm. i think that's about it if i think of anything else i'm gonna go ahead and add that in and i also need to update my stickies so i always post on this post it every monday this is updated for a while but i'm back on my sugar honey iced tea every monday like my goals for the week so i'm gonna take this one off and update it for this week I love how this video went from like just being a maintenance vlog to being like a maintenance vlog slash self-care because I needed it. Like I laid down last night and I'm just like, why do I feel so heavy? Why do I feel so heavy? And I realized that there were so many things that happened last week that would just turn off to me. Like I tweeted about it too. I'm like so many things have been turning me off lately and... I just haven't been performing like I know I should be performing. And that's what I learned. So my goal for this week is to post for YouTube video. I want to reach 11k on IG. And I plan to do that. I'm going to try to post three reels. Because reels really help like attract traffic to your channel and i have like so many different types of reels that i want to do so even the last reel that i posted at burn reach out to me like we want you to do a reel just like this for us and i actually need to respond to them so let me add that to my to-do list for today i won't see the name because i don't know if they got the points for me okay on youtube i think i'm currently at um 10,700 and I don't even know. I haven't really been keeping up with my subscriber count because I'm just like, let me get this content out. And that's that on there. That's that on there. I haven't really, ever since I passed 10K, I haven't really been paying attention to my subscriber count because I was just like 10K, 10K, 10K. Now I'm just like, let's continue to grow the content and we will see the benefits from that. So I've been focusing more on like growing my content, giving you guys different types of content. Versus just like growing. Because even though I grow, I want y'all to grow my views. I want y'all to grow my engagement. I want y'all to grow my influence. I want y'all to help me grow my reach. So all of these things are important too. Not just how many subscribers you have. Because you can have a million subscribers. But if you're getting 100 views on your videos, that don't mean nothing. Because your audience isn't really interacting with what you're posting. Right? So... Let me see what's my subscriber count so I can set myself a goal for this week. And while I wait for that to load, I want to post one blog post. I already drafted the blog post. It just has to go live on Tuesday. And then a part of me getting ahead is I want to like bulk write my blog post, if that makes sense. Like I have all of my blog post ideas. I just need to sit down and write them. So this week, I'm going to work on that too. My subscriber card right now is 10730 So by the end of this week, I want to get to 10.8K subscribers. Let's do it, baby. And what else do I want to do? I haven't taken pictures in a while, but I think that's going to be like a next week's item because... This week, my skin is still recovering, as you guys can see. So, I still have purging. I am actually, like, peeling a little bit, too. So, by next week, my skin should be. <laughs> okay? So, next week is more of, like, a picture-taking week. This week, reels can get me through. I have enough reels. Oh, why did I crumble this up like I'm throwing it away? But, yeah. So, my little morning self-care routine. I'm going to have breakfast. Oh! Bless me. 
And um, now we're going to go to the bathroom so that we can wax this coop. She said we can wax this Gucci because I still didn't do that because I still didn't do that. And the reason why I didn't do it yet is because I ordered a new wax from Amazon and it got lost in Hurricane Henry, y'all. I'm just kidding. It dead was delayed for three days. So it finally came yesterday and I was like, I'm making it my business today to wax my coochie. Today we are going to wax my coochie so yeah that's what we gonna do today so let me go ahead and put some grub in my hub <laughs> and i'll see you guys soon hey guys so <clears throat> i'm about to wax myself and i got a new wax so if you guys watch my previous video my diy waxing video if y'all haven't seen that make sure y'all check it out it's a little kiki too but um I got this wax from Amazon because the wax that came with the kit, it was I, right, but it just wasn't doing the job for me. And I saw that Kayla Cake had tried this wax and Fanta, my homegirl Fanta, my sister Fanta, told me to try this wax. So I went ahead and picked it up from Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. And I'll also let you guys know what I think of it after I try it just now. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it in my bowl. And I think they said a little bit of this goes a long way. So I'm not going to put as much as I did with the last wax beads. Today I'm waxing my armpits and my cooch. I'm not doing my legs. I'm not waxing my legs anymore. I'm just shaving my legs because it took too much wax. It took too much effort for it not to like get all of my hair. So yeah, I'm just going to keep shaving my legs until I have enough money to get laser. Manifesting that into the universe. My armpits and my and my coochie so let me see what we're working with let me see what we're working with okay we got a little we got a little patcheroo and then my coochie <laughs> it's long over too okay i told you i was waiting for this wax but like a week now this was supposed to happen a week ago so <laughs> just know that we may have some issues when it gets to down there so i'm gonna let this warm up and then i'll be back once i start actually waxing myself You guys, this wax applies so much better. guys so i just finished waxing myself and taking a nice long shower well needed and um this is the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed comment down below and let me know if you guys have any thoughts comments questions comments it down below but i hope you guys enjoy my little maintenance slash self-care vlog if you guys like these and we can definitely do these like once in a blue so i can show you guys like how i reset when my mind just needs to get it together you know what i'm saying so yeah let me know we could definitely do it again subscribe thumbs up and until my next video i'll see you guys later